How to create a new user in AD. Very easy. We go ahead and open up Active Directory Users and Computers, which you'll have installed, and you've got your OU structure. All right, so all of your OUs listed in there. You'll see an a, an, a users group under there, and you may also have users in different locations depending on how your AD is structured. Right click and say new user to create. All right, you can also go to the actions pane and go new user as well. And you can also just select the icon there to create a new user. All right, so go ahead and create a new user and put in the relevant details for that user as well. All right, so this user is going to be a user that you can use to log in to a computer, into a server, or you can give to somebody, right? Put in your the logon name, so what the actual logon name you want to be for this particular person. So we'll just say John Smith, that is the domain, which will be at Red Ghost. And then you put in the password. And you've got some options in here which are really, really good. You'll get some security messages uh, to let you know what you can and can't do. Uh, so you can do things like change password at next logon, which is helpful. So you can put a demo password in here. And then when they log in for the first time with this password, it'll prompt them to change that password. Okay. You can also then right click on it and go into properties to actually change some further permissions and add them to certain groups and those sort of things as well. All right. So you'll see there a summary. You can go and do a whole bunch of account options in there as well, which is what we sort of looked at before. You can set the account to expire after a certain day as well. You can also set the logon hours. So if you want somebody to only be able to log in during nine and five, for example, you can go ahead and set that, okay, which is really, really handy. Member of, this is where you, met, uh, you, know, uh, you add them to members of groups. So you'll probably have distribution groups, uh, security groups, those sort of things. You add some information in the general and the address tabs if you want that information populated with their details, the telephone number, all that sort of stuff, which is really, really handy to do. And that is it. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to Digital Byte Computing for a whole bunch of more videos.